the scanning technique for the mesenteric lymph nodes in canine patients. In this ultrasound, the following technical aspects are recommended. A linear transducer with three to four centimeter depth will provide the best image. Utilize high frequencies with or without harmonics. The general gain should be maintained at approximately 60 to 65%. Select the third or fourth TGC curve from the drop-down menu. Before the procedure, the patient should be fasted to greatly improve the ease of finding the mesenteric lymph nodes. Place the patient in the lateral recumbency with their legs directed towards the sonographer. This position will allow one person to have control over both the front and hind limbs. For long axis images, ensure the transducer marker is pointed cranially. Slide the probe ventrally to mid-abdomen. The lymph nodes will be located at the level of the left kidney and body of the spleen. If the patient is in dorsal recumbency, the lymph nodes will be medial to the spleen. If it is difficult to visualize the target organ in the long axis, use color Doppler and the transverse plane. Using a short axis plane and color Doppler, the jejunal veins can serve as helpful anatomical landmarks to find the mesenteric lymph nodes. Ensure the marker is pointing towards the right of the patient for short axis images. The lymph nodes abut the jejunal veins and have an elongated shape in the long axis view. In the short axis view, the nodes will have a somewhat semi-lunar shape. Puppies will always have prominent reactive lymph nodes as a normal variant.